Right now we are going to make a slightly more advanced version of the F-16 paper aircraft. We are going to use an A4 sheet of paper. first step is going to do a modified water bomb base. And the first step is to fold it in half lengthwise. Put a nice good solid crease down there. And now to make the modified water bomb base. We're going to take this edge here, we're going to lay it down here, and there's going to be an overlap of about half an inch, about 12, just over 12 millimetres. Make sure the overlap's the same at the top and the bottom, and put a crease up. So the distance here should be the same as the distance there. Now what we have is we have a vertical crease, we have a horizontal uh, diagonal crease. Where those two meet, that is where I'm going to fold and so I'm going to end up with the diagonal crease joining up there. Now we're going to do the water bomb base. We're going to fold this edge in onto that edge, onto the vertical edge. We're going to assume you know how to do a water bomb base and a sink. And we're going to do the same on the other side. When you're doing a paper aircraft like this, symmetry is very important. So I'll actually put those tip to tip. Put the crease up. So these are going to be the primary wings. I'm going to call this, these two flaps, this is going to be the top, this will be the bottom. So working on the top, I'm going to open out the flap and I'm going to fold this edge down the centre line. So that edge goes along the centre line. And I'm going to fold it back. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I open that flap out, I fold it down that centre line. Now we're going to turn it over. So I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I'm going to fold this edge onto that centre line. One. And two. And then I'm going to put some very sharp creases in. Use my origami knife. Not only are they good for cutting pieces of paper, they're also good for putting knife edge creases in. Okay, so with the top, look at the top again, I'm going to open that flap out. I'm going to I'll pull this out so that it's at 90 degrees or just beyond. Now comes an optional bit. I'm going to fold this leading edge over just about an eighth of an inch, about two or three millimetres. So somewhere between a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch, two, three millimetres. And I'm going to sort of fold that over best as I can. So this will fold it. This is optional. It makes it stronger so you can throw the dart harder, but it does upset the balance on occasion. So may stall out a lot. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fold this out so it is symmetrical. And I'm going to, as I said, somewhere between an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch, two to three millimetres. So. so now it's looking a bit like a fallen angel or something. We're going to turn it over. So this is the top. We're going to turn it onto the bottom. We're going to start working on the tail section. This is the most complex bit. So we're going to fold that up and we're going to put that. So this edge here meets, goes across there, just touches there. And we're going to go all the way up into that corner. And again we're going to do the same on this side. So usually this should end up perfectly symmetrical depending on your folding skills. We can check the symmetry by folding along that centre line and checking where all the tips are. Tip, tip. And reasonably good. Now we're going to make this is where it gets a little bit tricky. 
I'm going to fold a crease. I'm going to fold this down so it touches, this point touches that line. So it touches that line. Now I'm going to go and stop about a quarter of an inch, six mils from that tip. So about six a quarter of an inch, six mils in. This doesn't have to be precise. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, symmetry is more important than the precise measurement. So let's just check. This one's just a little. Okay. Now to get these nice, these tail surfaces, play horizontal tail surfaces, a little, really good. Goes to a crease up there. I'm going to fold the top 6mm, quarter inch in, roughly parallel with that, it doesn't have to be precise, and the same on this side. Now comes a tricky bit. We're going to do a line from that point there, from where the crease is, to basically I'm going to fold this edge here onto that edge there. So I fold this up, like so, and when I do that, this should end up somewhere down by that centre crease. And then I can just lift that up, take that under, and lock that in position. So let's do it on the other side, taking this edge, Folding it under, well, we're going to fold it to that edge. I then lift this flap and put that under there. Yes, it is a lot of effort, but it does look good. It does two things. It gives us these really nice, tight little tail fins, and the vertical stabilizer looks a lot better. Again, we're going to check symmetry. Symmetry is important. Now I'm going to fold it in half the other way. So I'm going to fold it. And now I'm going to end up with something that looks vaguely plesiosaur sort of like vaguely. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a sink fold. So about three fifths of an inch, about just over about a, about a centimetre and a half. From this edge, I'm going to do a parallel fold all the way along there, about a centimetre and a half. So on this inside, I'm going to come along, centimetre and a half, and that crease is parallel with that edge. So this crease is parallel with that. I'm going to do a sink fold. Hopefully if you've done this right, it's really hard to get this just perfect. The tail should be roughly symmetrical. You should end up with this W section on the tail. Then because we can, we're going to do reverse with this section here the center of that, we're going to lift that up and it's going to become our table section. And I'm basically doing a crease, an inside crease, roughly where that, that fold is to that point. So lifting that up. So we're just about ready to make a flying aircraft. So now this is the wings. The horizontal stabilizers are very stable. Now we're going to do a fold from about a centimetre, half an inch in front of the wing root to roughly that point there. So it's going to be a diagonal. And we're just going to take the top layer or so. So when you do this, you should end up with a flap hanging down. 
repeat on the other side. And check for symmetry. So now you've got a pair of yarn there. And now we just open this out. So if we have done this right, we now have a pair of wing forms, 90 degrees. We should have these beautiful tail surfaces. We've got a vertical stabilizer. If you want to, you can actually just fold the tip in there just like a sink fold. Bink. And yes, it does fly. So when you're throwing this, just grab it by those bits under there. Throw it like you're throwing a dart at a dartboard.